My name is Rhapsody. His name is Orbital Potato, and welcome back to Slipways. Hey, Orbital, how's it going, bud? It's going very well, Raps. How's it going with you? Mmm, couldn't be going better. It may actually hang on let me say you know what i apologize that was a lie it could go very slightly better if we managed to get another 25er in this another three star plat for our cracks and fractures <laughs> i just I, yeah. mm -hmm. I just can't help but feel like the title of this is a is a euphemism for something i, I, I don't, don't know like what it. you're possibly talking I about just, I just don't like it. I just don't it's, like it. It's at fractured, all. though whole. Uh, this <laughs> sector is home to strange rifts in space time. Their origin is unknown, and your primary goal is to study them and figure out their nature. You get 85 data from these rifts, 25 years to do it as our mission goals. The anomaly exists, a major disturbance in space time, blocking connections and affecting nearby planets. That's a roughie. It is a straight tear through space that just blocks connection. It's gonna be a rough time. Okay. But we have okay. the structure of a rift outpost, one month and 10 coin has to be built on the edge of a rift, manned with people and connected to a source of research. Now this is the field where it starts to get a little wonky because you've got the directions that are blocked by the space time rifts and in order to complete the mission goal, you need to get people into a thing that is connected to one of the rifts as well as a source of study. It's going to be a wow. lot of chains we got to do here. So, so these little these little green things are they actually called data, or can we call them can we call them something else? I believe creation? I believe they are. Uh, sorry, excuse me. We're talking about an individual. It is a datum. Um, I, I believe they are data in plural, but uh, we can call them paper, we can call them greens, we can call them Benjamins, we can call them Washingtons, we can call it any of the <laughs> any of the faces on the bills, I guess we can go with. What about, um, what about we can Pogaroonies? Go with Pogaroonies? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can call it data, we can call it datum, we can, get, uh, <laughs> yeah, we can, we can call it, any, we can call it any, almost anything. Hang on, sorry, almost anything. We can call it 85 Pogaroonies is what we're after. Oh boy. All right. And we're going to earn rank based on how much Pogaroonies per year our outposts <laughs> are collecting. Uh, the outposts collect Pogaroonies per year, just in case that wasn't clear, based on how much uh, study it has access to. Only one outpost per rift. Okay. So, science and poor connections. Have you got a lead for us here? I mean, the, the obvious one is Vittori Aphorian, right? But I feel like we've... Have we run them every single time? over the course of this campaign? I don't believe every single time. Uh, but okay. Vittori has been every single time. Aphorian, I think, has been, like, maybe, like, almost all of them. <laughs> do do the Vittori have the tech that allows you to create uh, research hubs on primordial planets? Because that's the one that I'm really... They don't. So that would be Xeno Labs. It would be one of their first yeah. two to pick up. They do, however, have quantum computing, giving you the ability to increase a lab science output by two, uh, as well as the next level after that, self-hosting AI, increasing it by a further one. We also have skill up facilities, matter traps position, and range of slipways as well as slip amplifier. Honestly, save quantum computing, which is really good, don't get me wrong. Save that. Pretty hot trash. Garbage. Yeah, it's absolute garbage. Yeah. Uh, over here mm. on Aphorian, we have the ability to get the hardest of all planets, which we, like, hard rate right now, right? I think... Absolutely. We're all totally. aboard. 100%. Uh, a trade league hyperdrive, which is interesting, as well as teleporter structures. So that's all of our mobility in late game if we need it. And if we're science, maybe? I don't know. Uh, and then post scarcity is their final. Not an upgrade, or sorry, not a project, importantly, but six import routes to a prosperous planet, which wouldn't be too difficult with that much movement. Uh, raises it to legendary and increases its trade income by 50%. Okay, all right. I can I can I can we just discount Vittori just because it's it's absolutely garbage on Let's this do it. circumstance? Part of me feels like we we should re-roll, but the other part of me is, you know, can't betray the Pogarunis that are waiting for us, you know? We gotta stick with what we got. If if we can find a bead that fits in with what we're currently thinking about, maybe here in the Euphorian of our movement tech being uh super powerful. Um, Hyperlanes, I, I will say, will be more powerful in this mission than they typically are, not just because of the rifts, but because 
on either side of the rifts, you're very likely to have planets that are pretty close together and want to be connected, but just can't. Uh, so, yeah. it, you know, it kind of is because of the rifts, but the, the shorter distance yeah. of the hyperlane won't be as bad here as it otherwise might be because you couldn't really play around it. Anyway, the galaxy yeah. is built this way. Uh, what about Bakar and Dander, please? Mm, oops, sorry. Let's check you out. Ooh, we immediately get some pretty interesting yes. options here in the solar farms as well as geothermal plants. The ability to utilize uh, arid, desert, lava, mineral, and ice ball planets. Absolutely all of them in order to generate energy from ships. We have uh, a few other things here that are kind of interesting, but a little bit more difficult. Meg megastructure projects for a bunch of ore into a planet in order to get happiness and increase income. A bit difficult to do in this world, but again, maybe that's what we end up utilizing yeah. with the post-scarcity. Get ridiculous stack buffs. Uh, though, yeah, no. okay. Uh, there's also the monoliths for connection to prosperous planets as well. It's Honestly, it's very I, largely the first two texts here that are spicy. I agree. He heavy agree. I, I think even, but with those two, I mean, you can you can get off to a rip roar and start and make some real, some real progress. So uh, you're not wrong. But a world yeah. where we are thinking about needing a lot of microchips is suddenly a world where maybe we want to think about I don't know going for silted. Because especially if we get multi-purpose factory, what do the geothermal plants need? They need a chip and then they need a bot. Both of those would come from a single forge world if we have silted with the multi-purpose. But let's look at Dender first. Disease eradication habitat for asteroid creation of people. Cultural exchange. Super, super powerful, this one. Two planets connecting people. I think these are going to be so reliant on connections that we're not yeah. going to want to invest anything into them. Get rid of that. Get rid of that nonsense. That ain't yeah, going to help right. us meet our Pogaruni target. Not at Dang. all. Silthid is unfortunately missing the pickup we were looking for. However, these three free builds of slip relay structures might actually be goddamn insane in this mission. Because your starting would... galaxy is going to be hampered by those rifts. How big are the rifts? Uh, about yay big. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say like... About yay the, big. Yeah, the starting <laughs> right. screen, they're about half the length of the starting vision. They're pretty big. Okay. Okay. All right. But then are we really going to want to slip around? I don't I feel like maybe we don't. Like, I feel like that's too big of well, an investment, really. It's the, the, the part of me that's thinking that we may want to slip around is if we reveal our starting galaxy and we end up in a position where the only good, like, which I don't think is unlikely, but the only good starting galaxy we can set up for economy, uh, sorry, economy or uh, study requires a slip relay. I think we might be really happy about the experimental tech in that situation. It's possible we don't let go for it. I would happily re-roll yeah. as well. Let me, no, I feel like we can't re-roll. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do it. I, I'm happy with, I'm happy with Silted to be honest. I don't think that the slip relay is what we take. The reason being, if we do have a starting galaxy that's of poor quality that we need to place one down, it's going to cost us 20 bucks. We start with, what, 60? Uh, it, it, and it, then... They're free. Oh, they totally are free. Yeah. Uh, it okay. doesn't even well, cost them know, dis disregard the Disregard the time and the 20. It's still going to cost us a lot to connect up. So, I mean, if it's, I don't mm. know, 15, 15, like 30, that's going to be half of our income just by the two connections into the slipway, yeah. the, the relay thing. So I feel like it's not as not as value. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? What other what other perks have we got if we're happy with this cancel? Uh, we've got the quantum sensors for the uh, oh. scan and size. Sorry, uh, you mean other perks? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was just going to round out silted here. Um, mineralize for turning things into mineral. Not going to matter if we're going to be using them for the geothermals anyway. Integrated manufacturing in order to create uh, X. Actually, hang on. Integrated That's manufacturing good. that could be our generation of the uh, the chips for Bacar, although then we would need another planet still making bots, but we'll deal with that at the time. Nanofab, make things into a forge world if we need it. Mind Control has the ability to fix any previous uh, effects of negative happiness on a planet. So we can use this at the end effectively like culture just to mind wipe people into thinking they were happy the entire time and then <laughs> manufactured luxury, <laughs> uh, which we saw previously exists. Um, yeah. 
As for our perks, artifact trading. So this would give us the ability to spend more time on Forge World planets, just individually creating Forge World things. We always know that when a good is exported, it wants to go to a planet that generates people. So this yeah. always makes a two-way trade. Yep. Oh, that's, that's good. I like uh, that. Every unit of good received by a populating planet uh, increases its trade income by 30%. It's possible that our economy is going to be really, really hampered by this start. So I could see a world yeah. where that's valuable, but I do prefer novelty traders as a matter of course, typically. Um, and then geology, it's just mineral seeding for 80% of the planets, just turns them into the ability to mine and because explorers for getting a little bit of money while discovering new planets. And what was the second perk for Silted, please? Oh, sorry. Uh, all Forge World planets will produce one more of their main products and earn 20% more trade income. Okay, what are, you, what are you thinking? Where, where's your mind at at the moment? My mind is largely there, but I, I recognize you don't rate experimental tech in the exact same way as I am doing here. Um, I would suggest that until we get hyperdrive, we are going to have no access to ability to do any fixes for anything. Like, we won't even have transposition. We don't have lensify. Um maybe this is still pogged out of control? Yes, I think we take it. The only other one for me would be the, the Forge World uh, trade income increase, mm. to be honest. Like, that would, would be that one. Uh, to be honest, both of the Euphorian perks I, I really rate. They're, they're both very good. Um, mm. uh, the, the, the only sort of thing... If we're going for the 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 lava planet into the into the energy, do we really want to you know leave our remnant planets doing 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 goods? Maybe not, but I, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I'm happy with your with your suggested perks. I think this is. Sorry, this uh, is fine. I I may not follow that line. If the lava planets are doing energy. No. The, the the rationale the remnant planets are one of the only only two planets that can produce chips and if we need chips for our solar planet our solar power geothermal then do we want them to be consumed with creating goods ah uh, yes 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 i see i think that is the thing that we would fix with integrated manufacturing like we'll have to sacrifice right. a couple of yeah. the remnant planets early but later we'll have the ability to manufacture from those it's it's options as well, right? Like we don't necessarily have to make them do goods. They can always do chips or whatever we need. Absolutely. To do. Oh, that big. Oh. Yeah. Like the radius. Why why didn't you just say so? <laughs> you know what? I should have said the radius because I said half the size of, but <laughs> uh okay, let's change our view mode. Wait, hang on. We don't have a view mode yet because we haven't discovered anything. Uh, okay, we've got a fiver over there. Uh... Dude, they look great. Those rifts look incredible. Mm -hmm. They do oh, look a little bit appealing. No. I almost want to eat them. Uh, I, there's it, a fiver over it there. It looks like a... It looks like a worm, but... Delicious? Uh, worm. Like a gummy worm? Yeah, yeah kind of. It's like a gummy space worm. Like, I... This is how they would serve drinks in an alien bar. Like, they would just summon a wisp of liquid and it would just go towards your face. Oh, like in like in Zero G, where you create, like, a little yeah. whirlpool. You know, you spin, like, the water... Right, you know, like, how you, you know, you put your finger in the sink and you yep. swish it around really fast and it creates a whirlpool mm -hmm. in the clockwise direction. Obviously, for you, it's the anti-clockwise direction. Of course, thank you. You maybe don't get my reference. Um... Oh, no, I understand the mechanics of it. It's just, it didn't really make sense to me what you were referring to because you were just <laughs> wrong about the direction it goes. So, <laughs> sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, we... Yeah, I, yeah, I, think, I think that's a good one. I think I we laid down some. One. Yeah, let's go with this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's actually, good. that's good. That's some pretty that's spice in an opening. That's already an enclosed system with a two-way trade and it has excess wheat to export. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh... So I think based on that, let's get these high sources here, because then after that we're gonna need to. Oh, but the... the problem I guess is. Okay. Getting. Hang on. 
Okay, that's a five. That's a five. You know what? These ones on the far side aren't actually useful for us right now because we can't access them. So let's do this five and then the down five. Cool. Okay, that's nice. That's a that's a planet that is just waiting to turn into uh, a, a, an energy plant or geothermal. Incredible. That's the, good. That's this is an good. insane starting system. Excess people already as well. They don't actually have anywhere they can go and do anything, but they are there. They exist. That is pretty good. Mm. And I tell you what, there is that. something. There's something up at the top there with uh, ore into ore into chips. Yeah, I think we. I think we do that absolutely. By the way, like I think this is. Yep. This is fine. Like we've we've mapped out our. Our order of operations here. It's just I want to make sure that we have the ability to complete as, uh, enough of this before the next year. So we have eight months. Uh, uh, never mind. We can do it. It's fine. We can still connect okay. these two and jump across. I'm not worried. Okay. I mean, hmm. I think this is. I think this is good. I, I literally don't think that there's anything better here. That could be. That could be set up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Gonna. Follow with that. Hang on, who do we have? Okay, we don't have Dendos, so they're not going to care about this planet being created differently. Task time? Okay. Yep, I think it's task time. Let's make it so. Make it so. Uh, if we get a good into here, that will immediately be a, a hub. Um, I mean, I think it's that and one of the other two, but I don't know which of the other two immediately. We could always okay. Hold maybe on. let me hit you with a little bit of a little bit of a spicy play. Uh, we could always before taking the mission, we could scan up in the top right quadrant to see if there is uh, anything or e or adjacent perhaps or or chip adjacent. And if it's or e, like then it. we can maybe. No, it's more of a blind forest. Yeah. Although that's food. Is that that's people from from that food right there? By the way, it, it uh, is that, indeed. Earth -like. Uh, for the third from this, we will need a water input as well, which it does not currently have access to. I guess we could just disclude this. That's more than fine, yeah. and then just take this one instead. I, I think that's the play. Okay, yeah. So I think tasks, and then and then focus on the ore. I guess we we don't need to do the tasks until we are either going to create a rock, a uh, a microchip, or finish an import planet. And I would like to leave it open actually until we do. Okay. Okay, that's cool. The only the only thing is I don't know when it changes. Uh I, I think we got told recently that it doesn't change. That there was something uh unique about your situation that has resulted in it changing in an instance. Uh okay, so we we we, we borked it, I see. Yeah. What like because okay. the thing is if it ever changes, we can just unwind until it hasn't. I does it do that though? I suppose I suppose you're right. Yeah. I mean like maybe you know it Maybe we encounter it here, but I, I seem to recall that being uh, Could, something that uh, we were given the, I, I don't now. suppose I don't suppose that Forge World makes a connection with that that planet, the goods, the planet to to to, to deliver goods, does it? No, uh, that one. The uh, the other one. Uh, this one. I, I very much no, absolutely not. Definitely not, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Hmm. So I, think I mean, this just... could get people, and then it could get goods from here. Like we can, we can set Earth like up to actually become prosperous pretty quickly. Uh, well, not prosperous, but successful. I, I just don't see what it's actually serving as its secondary purpose. So that we'll doesn't do it. It doesn't have any there. outputs. That's the problem. I think that that is much more useful for us because mm, it... this actually still integrates back, and it gets us the four bag. You know what? Well, let's just do this. Yeah, exactly. And it gives us critically more intel that uh, that we need. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think we go four there now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Damn it. I think that's well, fine. Ooh. So I'm four bear thinking... will cut off the access of uh, Sixen to any other area for its people, basically, because it can't even reach up here. It's obstructed. So my mind is currently thinking, what if we place a cheeky little slipped relay 
to double dip from the Forge World up top. Hmm. Which is going to be producing goods, which we can get from the ore thingy next door, the ore planet I, next door. I I love the idea. Let me scaffold it out. It's it's going to be a little bit janky with the Forge Bear Ruin, but because I think we still want to try and hit it ideally. But yes, I think it's just it's just too good not to not to try and take. It's a double whammy, you know, for just one. So I agree. Need to do it. One thingy. Maybe this is why we need to change how the Forge Bear Rune is taken. So the reasoning there is because in order to actually get these goods out to the things that we would need to connect them to, right? Because this has to, the absolute shortest distance is this sensor person over here. And then yep. we get the good down from that. That goes up there and then slip relay, slip relay over here or like slip relay, slip relay. Like it's two slip relays for any good getting it here. Here's here's my my potential counter to that. Can you um, temporarily colonize the Forge world, please? Just so that I can see what planets are up there. Because there is a, perhaps a world where we take that Forge Bear Ruin with the Arid planet to the north. I know it's somewhat unlikely. Yes. But that would be preferable, I think. Uh, yes. So what, sorry, what did you want me to do to set up for that? Just, See what planets see what planets are up north um, by colonizing the the forge the forge world. Another lock. Ugh, that's that's a big that's a big old crack. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, in time. Exactly. You know what? So I think we mm, okay. Mm, mm. Mm. Here's the th I don't think we have to take the. As long as we leave space to slip in another slip relay uh, from the Arctic to the Forebear Ruin, we can probably just get away with one singular slip relay down from the Goods Planet, potentially, right? For the Arctic uh, to the, get the Forge Bear. That. Yeah. So... Yeah, so if we leave space for that one, and then we just yoink the... forget We forget about sorting the Forge Bear right now, and then we just uh, we just prioritize the goods. That would be my pitch. So, oh, so we're See waiting what? for, like, stream splitting to get mm. us the ability to hit the Forge Bear? No, not necessarily. But probably. Not necessarily. But I'm just saying, like, I, I mean, I would... It, it feels bad to commit one of our free slipways to getting that when we just don't know the outcome of it. I, so I, I would just pitch, we use I, one, and then come back to it later. I hear you. This leaves open the option of just getting the Arid to still collect it later. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, what do we do with the rest of this system for this year? We can't increase our income. Uh... Uh, I think the, <laughs> that, if you, that actually could work, but we're not doing it. If you colonize the uh, the mine planet, the the mineral planet, that's still gonna be three months. Takes us one. over the year. We haven't got anything that minimizes them. That's fine. No, but I mean, it, we're not gonna pay the upkeep. We're just gonna colonize it. Sure, but well, I'm, so, I'm uh, not saying there's a problem. It's just like, is there any optimization we can do before the end of this round? And there is, because if we're gonna be creating oh, yeah, them, let's do that, and then we're accepting the other one because we're taking them. Yep. Cool. Cool. Very take cool. Take you, connect, take you, connect. And we will actually hit, we will hit that mission, won't we? Uh, yes. We'll hit it right now. Uh, we, well, I mean, we'll hit, uh, yeah, we'll hit the Aphorian one. We'll hit half of the, the Cyrus at the moment. Um, we could yeah. take the asteroid early here. I mean, we are going to need it ultimately for that. It just comes down to whether or not we want extra six. So offset the Arid colony cost by two. It'd also be a negative think, of two per year just to exist by itself in that position. I think we're going to need to take it now, to be honest, because uh, we're not going to have enough money to finish the rest of the setup, I don't think, without it. Or maybe just, but we'll leave us without any extra time. So which, for the rest sorry, of the year. which do you mean take? Because do we need the to asteroids. take? Okay, yes. So if we take it now, you mean without doing Arid? Correct. Okay, cool. Agreed. Because I, I don't I don't think our priority should be uh yeah expanding to the 
north. I think it should be expanding to the east to try and get... Yeah, is that what we want to do? Like right, like right there? Or do you want to move it slightly to the right so that you leave the option of threading in another slipway to yoink ran to the forge bear? Does that make sense? Oh, I, I don't know if we ever live in the planet where we collect that with another one of the the free slip relays. I think like, but that's what I'm. Yeah, I suppose we could always hyperlane it later, or, or slip or stream split, stream split in. It's yeah, just that's small. What I'm thinking. It's just an option. Like I'd hate to get cut off later, but I I, I don't think it really makes a difference. It, right I'm now. I'm happy to use the the arid colony eventually to get it. Um, they are big, but oh well. Okay, you this is it. this is good. This is excellent. This is very very good. This still has the ability to form another system of people out here. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually benefit us in any way yet. But maybe we should look for another direction. I mean, this. Bad yes. boy, can I get all of you? No. Because um, I think that's where we need to expand, unless we want to return up to the top left and get ourselves another mineral planet. Because to be honest, we yoink ourselves another mineral planet and we're good. But we need to actually think about... We need to think about research. We need to think about research. Hmm. We do, yeah. Immediately, I'm looking for like any density of planets here that have the ability to generate similar resources. And they, they're, they're kind of light. Biomass, we can maybe, mm, yeah. Single Man, source these... of biomass here, possible source of biomass here. This wouldn't have the person yeah. to be able to fund it, though. This also doesn't have a person to be able to fund it, but another source of biomass. That's the problem, right? We've got the ability to, yeah. like, if all of these are creating the same thing, we want them to have similar inputs, so it's easy to fund them, but instead, to include these is to then include 10 other systems in our galaxy to fund them. Yeah. It's not great. Not yet. I think we just need need more intel, to be honest. I, I like this setup, though. I, I really do. And I don't hate it. I also yeah. don't like our economy at the moment, though. Like, it's, it's going okay, but for all of our investment currently is exclusively in economic plays... It could be going better. You know, an export of a person from each of these would be magnificent, monumental, huge, gigantic. Other synonyms. Yep. Uh, I could foresee a situation where we preemptively create a lab such that this becomes successful. That was the, the biomass play, really. Um, yeah, it is. Biomass up north. What if we did it, though? So here's my proposal. We use a slip relay in order to get the person up there because they just can't access it. That's uh, and then we put a uh, the the biomass planet here or, or lab here and then connect a person, a biomass, a biomass. Extensibility exists in the possibility of putting Earth-like into it later. Honestly, I'm not really expecting it to get more than three research right now. Okay. You know what? Let's let's start working through the motions on that one. Let's Let's give it a shot. Sure. So, we want this vaguely betwixt the two. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, is there anything I want to do specifically before the end of the year? You could colonize the primordial, uh, which colonize. would be... Yes, thank you. That Far would better. be the wrong, wrong thing. Wrong uh, colonization. Oh, colony. wrong. Yay. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, <laughs> let's... Let's get that one there. Yeah. So I think I think the uh, the upshot of that is that you save one single penny, um, dude. But it's worth it. You know how much a penny can do? Derail an entire train. I've heard. Don't fact check. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just like not even correct. No, it's it's not at all. Absolutely not. But people not say not even it. close to correct. Can't put it on the tracks, otherwise it'll uh, tip the train. I guess it's more dangerous to, you know, try and go and collect your flattened penny. So there's reason to say it, to be fair. Um, I was always kind of worried that, like, the such such was the velocity of the penny. Uh, actually, hold up. 
How do we study the rift to get the Pogaroonies? Ah, so the study of the rift is putting a rift outpost on a rift and then connecting it to uh, sources of studying. So the fact that this lab is on this side, unfortunately necessary, does mean it's mm. not going to be useful for this space-time rift just yet. Gotcha. Okay, all right. Well, I don't care about Pogaroonies at the moment. That, they can wait. Mm. We'll pog up later. Pog up later. Um, I'll tell you, one thing we do have access to as well is if we wanted to turbo fund out missions, this area would be pretty fruitful domain for... Let me have a look I, at I, the borders here. Ooh, look at that agree. area! I agree. We've also got three science coming in next year. Uh, only going to take us a couple years of that in order to be able to get solar superconductors. Two years in order to be able to get the quantum super sensors. Arid and desert. Arid and desert. This being an energy would be pretty good. It'd be really good. It'd be very, very good. So we have an investment play for, you know, in 15 months time, effectively. I, um, yeah, I think, to be honest, I think we just get that mission done. Um... Because yep. if we build towards setting up a system that supports the production of chips, then we can get energy up and running, which I think is, which I think is probably the best. Absolutely. Best case scenario. Plus, we're going to be able to yoink those two asteroids in the middle. Three asteroids in the middle, actually. Mm-hmm. Do you want to, or rather, do we want to make this into a nanotech factory rolling over the year and then start doing searches? I think that's exactly what we want to do, reps. Hell yeah. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of good space five? up there. Actually, it's a lot of, a lot of free area. A five and a four, and then, I mean, this is a single strong. I mean, I would like to include that. Hang that's on. better. Yeah, because yeah. then this can be included in those up there. Perfect. Go for it. Interesting. Really interesting. interesting. Um, how do we that's exploit good. that? That's that that jungle planet right there is uh, can take the second chip. That's interesting. That is very true. And in fact, if it did take the second chip, I know where it might get uh, an artifact from. Where? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> what I mean is, I know where they might give someone else an artifact and receive an artifact in return. Ah, yes. Yes. It's um, called a circular economy. Please look it up. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't look things up. <laughs> I don't believe in circles. <laughs> I don't believe in looking things up. Uh, and <laughs> let's give it the last there. What? That's... That's both pretty good and also pretty bad. Yeah, um, exactly. But... <laughs> it's, it's okay. Can we build a geothermal on... Arctic planets on ice ball planets, even or is that ice ball? A... Yes, not Arctic though. So that's it's good. The actually. arid desert and then lava mineral ice ball. That's good. I kind of rate that. Yeah, we are well set up for energy in this galaxy. The fact that we have the adjacency of like a mineral planet, a forge world, uh. and then an unusable planet so consistently is incredibly. So there is something here where we get the jungle, the ice ball, the mineral, and the the forge world to connect up to supply all of the resources to the arid planet. And that's going to get it the water and the, uh, the water and the wheat with the wheat coming from energy on the ice ball. And then we can connect in the goods and the chips to the goods factory and connect across another good. I, I think that's... Sorry, where's your water coming there. from? The water's coming from the jungle over in the left with a slip relay. So this is getting a bot, possibly, I guess, the second energy of Ice Ball. But if Ice Ball's getting second energy, it needs to have already had a bot created for it. Oh, forget the bot, forget the bot for a little for a little second. Um, well, I mean, if I we're, but if we're hanging resources, hanging. then why not hang on Arid? And just do it there. Because then we don't get the good, then we don't get the good trade from the... Uh, from the thingy. The 
Oh, right, yes. You're talking about getting Dormant to, to fund it as well. Got it, got it, yes. got it. Yeah. But that's not, you're right, that's not necessary. We could always leave it hanging. It's not an immediate play. I do also kind of want to get these, at least the ones that are in view of the Earth, because one more export of a person, or just finding enough minerals over here that we create another lab gets us another successful colony. I, I mean, I gotta be honest, I think now that we we've seen this, this area up here, it's probably yeah, yeah. more beneficial to, to focus on that area, but yes, I'm okay this, with a quick scan. I'm, if I'm marking this for the future. This is... Uh, this is proposed for development. Okay. Alright. It's in the planning application stage. I see how it is. Perfect. You've been the town planner for a long time. Ever since the old Minecraft series, so... Let's see That's that I love... There. I love a little bit of red tape. My favorite color of tape. Hmm. Boy, howdy. It's... The difficulty here is coming, obviously, from the fact that we're not going to have the ability to fund any of this until we have the solar farm online. Our desert. So, we could, we could, we could get the mineral colonized. Um, mm -hmm. And then just yoink that together, I guess. That's going to... We'll have Not no person for the, the mineral colony just yet. Um, but we yeah, can hang that. You're right. You're right. Um, it, yeah, it's like if, if we are going to be hanging something, because this, this is a problem I often end up creating for us, which is in an attempt to fix one resource from hanging, I create a whole chain that itself then has to end up letting something hang. And it's like, we've now included, you know, seven more things in the galaxy and gotten no benefit out of it. What, what, what's happened here? Um, I tell you what, you're actually bang on. We could turn that into a solar farm if we wanted to and supply to the robots up in the up in the jungle there. If, if that's, uh, mm. if we do want to end up going for that arid play eventually. Yeah, thinking so, with energy. Yeah. Uh, we need to we need to shift our mindset into energy mode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know that you know that little uh, that little meme the, the that comes from the anime the gas 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 I'm gonna step on the gas. You know that. No. Actually, no. I to be really? entirely honest, while you were doing the setup, I was like, oh, it's gonna be really funny if he knows this and I don't. But no, absolutely. You don't know not. the gas 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 meme. Not. Not at all. It feels like someone describing a meme to me from a different universe. All right, all right, Grandpa. Let me let me tell you about this this really funny meme that I saw on the internet the Appreciate other day. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, that's it. Uh, you know, I pretty much described it. To be honest, there's no, there's nothing more to it. Anyway, we mm -hmm. need to think in fast mode. Is the the upshot of it there? Got it. Gas, gas, gas. Uh, I can't believe that. Oh. Uh, uh... Buddy, this galaxy right now. Here's a pitch. Mmm. Um, studying chips. We focus on that jungle planet over in the left. See if we can maybe get some chip study going on around there in a lab. There is a lot of density for the ability to do that. I do worry that it will be uh, really, really deleterious to the connections we're ultimately going to want to make for the export of these chips for the... Because ultimately we have to think about the fact that like this has to get ore. It can get that in terms of energy, thankfully. But it also needs to be able to give these chips to planets that are near enough by, and then they need to be able to give energy to something that wants it nearby. And the more that we have to build an infrastructure for labs, which are really heavy in slipway investment, the more likely it is that we have to block ourselves out of doing that. I do want more science, don't get me wrong. I just think that energy means chips are probably one of the last things we should do it with. Okay, all right. Where, where do you see us going from here then? Uh, well, I, I still really like out here. Um, because I think if we can complete Bacar's mission while also getting ourselves towards more science, incredible. That's so many goals achieved at the same time. I think this but doesn't but actually just... have a way to progress right now until we get the uh, tech I mean, online. But we could just pop that mineral planet and connect the two, right? And that would complete the Bacar mission and... Uh... It, it would not. This would only create one until we get a person into it. So suddenly we have oh, to... Yeah. yeah. You're right. 
Yeah. That's that's why I like the Bacar mission being completed with hopefully this area. Alright, slap it slap it together. There we go. I mean we have to search the top one as a preference, so it's literally just these four, unfortunately. Whiff. Yeah. It doesn't connect to the to the southern uh source, does it? That the mineral planet? Uh that that uh, no, it, it won't. It won't. Don't worry about it. There's an Rip. unknown. There's an unknown source that maybe is something from the mineral. Planets, oh, this but, one. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. If, if that's water, then that's useless anyway. So I don't know why I'm even bringing it up. So ignore that's me. Good. Um. Oh man. <laughs> if we have enough money at the end of the year, I might pitch a bad play. I, I I always love a bad play. Oh, bad play, good fun, bad play. Uh, actually, one thing I will say very quickly is uh, integrated manufacturing does give Crocs the ability to actually fully fund Dormund by itself. That's a good point. Mm, saves the inclusion of this extra chip if any of that happens to be worth our while. Also, it is worth noting, arid colonies will also be optional targets for solar farms if instead we decide that we want this to be energy for some reason. I don't know. It probably not because it's good, but whatever. Um, yeah. I really want to get a second source of science online as quickly as possible. The bad play would be at the end of the year, putting this down here, connecting these two <laughs> in, and just <laughs> having one science per year out of it but this becomes successful. Okay, what's the what's the income? It's now making five. What's it gonna make if you, you know, hypothetically? What does it make now? Five. Ah, a whole five. Yeah. <laughs> it's five. But it's, it's a whole of five. But it is successful, um, so it is kind of it's yeah, it's kind of flash. Wow, I really thought they increased their trade income when they became successful. That's good to note, because I did too, actually. Um, so it's... <laughs> we we're beat this here. game by plat on top. <laughs> and yet there's still more to learn, and that's what makes it an incredible game. I, I don't disagree. I just think it's funny how... I just think it's funny how... Um, what are we going to do here, though? Oh, I'll tell you. I'm actually not entirely sad about a world where... The Gaia world gets us an extra two science and also makes Shoruk successful here. I think that's very, very good. How do we get a person over there, though? Is mm. it from the... Great question. Oh, there's a... I know. Hold on. There is a world. There is a world here. That desert can become a geothermal plant and can provide energy into the the food place. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think you've identified a great trait there. A great option. I wonder yep. if this Gaia world is going to take energy instead of a person? Could. So that would be just this desert planet becoming that. And then instead of making wheat here, because wheat, ultimately, when you have a wheat source, you want it to be able to create more than one. And unless there's a bunch of colonies down here, we actually have a lot of the map terrain telling us it can't do that. The reason being, uh, the reason that I was thinking is because we have a chip that is ready to be sent somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those chips is going to be sent to the energy plant. The other chip is going to be hanging. Yep. Unless we find something for it. So might as well actually use it for something that will get us trade income. I, I think definitely the <gasps> play you're making now, like regardless of whether we uh, build a person is, is good. Hit me. What about, yes. What about, yes, we do that, but what about we get the wheat from here? Because it's going to create that's, an extra wheat with the Gaia world. That's also an option, but that will be, that will be our final relay. Are you happy with that? Yes. Ultimately, to me, what these represented was, and in fact, they get less valuable as this over time, the ability to make uh, strategic investments in the planning of our early infrastructure that pays off gradually over time. And the ability to turn this prosper uh, sorry, successful 
it's already next to another successful. We're, this is easily going to make successful relatively soon. If we get integrated manufacturing, this becomes successful. We have a system that's set up from the start for prosperity. I like it. Okay. I, I couldn't be prouder We're on of the this. journey. We've done well. We're on a journey. Haven't we done well? Uh, let's hang on. So it's... Uh, that first. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Then that. Um, it, mm. actually, the world we, we undo. Colonize yes, yes, yes. We colonize yeah. this and then send it in for the extra study right now. Uh, we can't afford it. Sag. I just forget about that. Then yeah, yeah get water across and then uh, and then colonize jungle, right? Ouch. <laughs> that is I, I hear you, but that was going to be so good of a play. Ah, one extra science. I feel like. I don't think that we're going to want for science, well, to be honest. Oh, no, you're right. We Sorry, we've already gotten the two extra science from this, so we will have eight by next year. That's what I wanted. I just wanted to make sure that we hit that, yeah. that limit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, we are slip relay for the shortest possible distance here, because that's going to be our most expensive connection this year. Right, that can export there as well as there. Those are very expensive too. This one probably should happen before the end of the year. This one connects to these oh, desert. I... Okay, let's go solar superconductors because we know we're doing that. What's the um? What's the other one? The the brain wiggle worm thing. The brain wiggle worm thing is. Yeah. Uh, brain machine interface. It's a project for improved trade income. How much money are we making on our, our planets, just out of curiosity? Let's have a look at our economic mode. So we've got 15 on the wheat planet. The wheat planet is actually really... That's that's Poggin, dude. Insane. So what's that? That's going to be an extra five coins. Pretty good. Extra three coins on all of the 10 planets. Mm-hmm. But, but stops any future projects. Uh, might be. And for an are investment you? of... Eight science as well as ten. Oh, sorry, twenty. Uh, twenty to build it as well as a month. Sorry, no, ten it to build no, it. Not month. ten to build ten it. Ten to build it, and it's and it's, no month. It's not uh, no okay. Month. Well, it, it, it's back in the more reasonable realm again. I'll say. Um. My my concern about that would mostly just be that getting geothermals right now will unlock the next level, immediately giving us the ability to go to integrated manufacturing so that we can stop having to use remnant planets for artifacts. Or, yeah, sorry, stop having to yeah. use uh, forge wells for artifacts. Yeah, I don't love it. I, I really, I don't, I don't love it, but I also kind of don't hate it. Like, I feel like that's going to... It's going to be pretty good, but also, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, we can, we can decide later. It doesn't mm -hmm. particularly matter. So, right now, this one we are going to have to pop. Uh, so, we'll take the desert colony, connect you in. Are we going to fund, like, is this person coming from somewhere? Or mm, what are we doing no. with our energy? Because if the energy just gets locked in this area, we're going to be pretty sad. That person's going across there. I think it's the mineral world because that solves the mission actually yeah like right now uh it has to be right uh, i mean that would give us the ability to pop this for more value i guess connect pop and then move up transfer uh, it won't have the time to transfer before the end of the year um i i wonder What are you wondering? Many things and nothing all at once and never. Uh, ultimately, I'm wondering whether or not we'll be better served by just integrating what we have right now until the end of the year. So let's let's scaffold two versions of this, right? And just see where we are at by the end of the year. So this okay. is the version that finishes our mission. Excuse me. Doesn't manage to do it before the end of the year, but then pop finishes it. That would connect yeah. over 
this would then connect down after popping this. I'm, I'm just gonna finish yeah, out the thing. Yeah. Great. And, and then we have 300 or another 30 lab, in yeah. the person to the lab. Sweet. Not, not, not awful. Definitely not awful. We're in 12 right now and 51 on the income, 12 planets colonized, great. Let's try the other version of that that's slower on the upkeep for the lab. So instead this pops early and we connect you and you and cannot even afford the connection on you. By one, we can't afford the connection on you. We can still, uh, we could colonize the desert and then just take the asteroid suboptimally. Uh, It'd be mineral connection suboptimal. Hey, you can pop so the roid. There's no reason not to pop the roid because you're still not going to have enough cash. Huh? You're still not going to have enough cash to connect the jungle to the lab. Oh, yeah, it was 17 after that as yeah, well it, still. Yeah, you need, I think it's 18. I, I like the other chain of events better and I'm happy to commit to it. I feel like it's it's a, it's much of a muchness to be honest. I I I couldn't disagree more on that one though. <laughs> you make so much difference. Uh okay, let's So we need to collect you. Take that. Uh hold on, sorry, can you undo that please? Uh, and then undo the asteroid destruction. And this can only ever reach those. Pop the southern asteroid instead, and then just connect up the chip to the uh, jungle. I think that's slightly more optimal. Because you're not able to transfer the energy up to the mineral, and so you don't get the benefit from it. Unless... I think you're right. That's um, but we do it in a very slightly different order. We have to uncolonize Dionysus before doing so. Yeah, cool. And then we colonize yeah, it then... to round out the end of the year. Yeah, I think that's good. Good, good, good. Min max. Great play. Great play. Yeah. Okay. Continuing from here, this now completes our mission. Yep. And we Beautiful. check that before we try and do anything else. Happy? Yes. Yep. Very, very happy. Uh, established trade routes for seven different resources. I think uh, we're not super unlikely to complete that happily. It's easy. Yeah, I agree. Um, Especially that we've got energy as well. That's an extra free resource. Exactly. Silthid is also a option with the three microchips creation immediately finishing it out. We have one we're creating in the future just by connecting this in. Uh, it's going to be. Yeah, the yeah. rest should be Pretty simple. Totally. Agree. Unfortunately, we've already activated all of the mines that we've seen so far, so it's difficult to continue increasing Bacara right now. You're absolutely right. All right. Make you in. Okay. Good and system so we can, far. And that can goes come back to there, a later date. And then that goes over there. That's if we want the, the final science for the 18 that it costs. It's possible we don't do that connection, but we do it at the end of the year if we do. Yeah, agree. Agree. Okay. okay. That's strong. That's a strong position. Mm -hmm. What's next? What's next on the agenda? Great question. I'm thinking looking for science. It's like, got to be labs and pogaroonies, right? It, it has to be, yeah. The faster we get science, the faster we will have the ability to connect things to things. Like, we, we've we got it, like this, this is solid on economy. Until our economy is starting to hurt a little bit more, I think it's science time. So if it's science time, how do we science? Uh, chips, chips I guess, chips is an option. With a lot of chips. Still true, still uh, difficult to plan around a galaxy that does that effectively is i guess there is a reason for the the 
Oh, for, for the same, like, wanting to get the energy from the things that it connects to, to other resources. Uh, reason. I feel like we've got a really good sort of potential setup for a lab just in the middle there. Just literally yoinked right in the, the center. In, like, that? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So it can take chips directly from this source. If this yep. starts making chips as well, it can take it yep. from there. But then this has literally just this angle to find wheat. Um, Indeed. But the counterplay is, is that probably we're going to find something that can receive uh, or something that can become a solar farm or a geothermal farm. So we can supply wheat geothermally. Again, that's not super likely. The the it's the sh it's the tiny angle that it has that makes let's me think. Like, let's let's see what's uh, see what's see what's around. So yeah. that or that. It's obstructed, obstructed. That's pretty good. That's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, like one of them has to be either wheat or the non-occupiable that we can use for wheat, and then that dictates the entire construction of our galaxy out of here afterwards. Um. I, like, I do like the ability that we can... Oh, I mean, that's way too far for the connection. I like the extra chips do want to be used in this area, but yeah, the other connections really kind of make it difficult for me to imagine a situation where it's going to be better for us. I I want to I want to scan out here now. I want to look for other areas. We've got excess people here. I want to scan here. That's a good, good option. Good option. Mmm. Baby. Water, maybe? That's water. That's easy study of water if we want it. Two, um, two inputs. Two inputs. Uh, so we get person, person. Both of those go out of the area. So we would want not then want a good input into Esper. Um, what about... Um, I wonder if that's not impossible for us. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe more scans, or or just hit one of those with the colonize, just to sort of see if there's any more stuff around. That's pretty that good. That being a wheat planet would be pretty good for us, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, agree. Agree. Which would then be that going for uh, biomass and water, and then that would connect into the wheat, and then that wheat would honestly, like, it would immediately get both of the resources that it needs. It, it just takes away the science play that this was hopefully going to maybe have a little bit of a play in. Does that Earth-like hit into the Forge world with goods by any chance? Is, or does it not allow? Just oh. not. Fortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Oh man, if it wasn't just for three... Because we also do know this lava planet in one year... That is, so we've, we've got five right now in science and we're getting five more next year. But if we connect this, that's six next year and we can do that connection just by popping the asteroid. Yeah. So if we wanted to, we would be able to pick up geothermals next year, which gives us the ability to utilize the lava planet. So if we knew yeah. a little bit more about the area down here, we might be able to exploit it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. It just... Feels a little. It does. Feels a little bad. I feel like I've I've dismissed it very quickly out of hand. I just don't see the, the lab play. Where so. It's there. Yeah, some someone like that. I mean, we can always leave. We can always leave the uh, the jungle hanging a wheat. Like that's not necessarily the end of the world. Hmm. This would also be hanging ore. That's true. We would be hanging Also, well. it would be a good planet between two colonies that isn't creating goods. But still hanging ore. It, in both circumstances, yes. But it gets closed off from the ability to... I mean, we don't have to connect that one up. We could always just get a double chip. Double chip setup. Because at the end of the day... Oh, can the remnant actually make it across to the top, to the top uh, desert up there? Or is that... That's nah, definitely in the way, isn't it? Well, it depends what's here. Nah, it's going to be... It's going to be annoying, for sure. Okay. Let's 
just what? I mean, we what have two. We have two chips. There's two chips with just leaving. It's two chips just leaving one wheat hanging. Like I think that's a pretty good deal. Do you not think? That's the yeah. this version. Chip, chip, and then yeah, just a lab in the in the north area. And that's where we started the that's what we started the biomass lab with just two uh, two inputs. I feel like it's enough to justify doing it. It's true, but I just I have worries. It's the area right here. So like, in order to explore Sag. that, we do that. Big. Sag. I like this. I like this area right here. That's incredible. Um. Let's see your adjacency again. So if the water was here, we actually can't, we can't even afford to set up the lab in a year. Like if we do all of this stuff, we need way more money for it. Yeah. Because we have to colonize uh, an eight and an eight. So 16 for those. And then the connection for this is nine. The connection for that's going to be like three. So uh, another 12. So that does 28, 15 for the lab. The jungle can't actually connect to the forge because otherwise there won't be an extra circuit. So that need to, that circuit needs to go directly into the lab, um, and it's just the sort of two way trade between the between the remnant and the uh, the jungle. Oh right, 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 yeah, for the connection there. God, got it, got it. Um, we do have an asteroid as well, though. Bear in mind. It's true. At least one, actually. Yeah, so that takes the cost significantly down. That's both of those. This pops for an 18. We wouldn't be able to get any science out of it before the end of the year, and we'd have to forego this. But also, like, what are we going to do with the rest of the year? You know what? Let's do this. Let's see what let's see what it does. Cost neutral, which is quite nice. In fact, technically cost positive by, by one. Um... um. And then the... Boy. Should we maybe explore the four banger up to the north before making this lab decision? These? It's yeah, not a four or that banger. three banger. Because it would be good to know what to spend our, uh, our, our one chip there on. Hey, that's great news. Wonderful. Is it? So... Well, it, it, it's given that it's a roid and not a planet, it means that we can still yoink a oh this one yes, chip yes, across yes. the north. Yeah, yeah, we can still fund a chip across the north from that one. That does connect, so that could be our wheat, but that would cut off doing the lab. Yeah. Lab. It alternatively could just be a could just provide lab. water for the yeah whatever. Yeah, see if this see if this works. I mean, I'm gonna put it there for the possibility that it ends up trying to take people from possibly that people from here. That's very wise, and it's still cheap as well. Mm-hmm. Good connections. Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's decent. I'd I'd like to roll out the rest of this year without increasing the size of our galaxy if we can. Okay, I mean, there is a potential for a couple of roids. Yeah, we could colonize uh, this and still take that roid between them without too yeah. much issue. Um, the problem mainly there for me would be this is pretty far from anything we want to connect into the system just yet. This needs water before it's even funding anything, so I would probably hold. But we also have science. We do have Which, some. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the brain machine interfacing is an entirely possible play at this point. This has 16, so it would definitely be at least a positive 4 or 5 at that point. 4. Ish. 5, um, I think. It's the 30% base, right? So So we get 1, 2, 3, so we can increase by 3, 3, 3, 3, 5. What's 3, 3, 5? That's 11. We can increase our income by 11 by spending 30. It's going to take three years to pay for itself, give or, give or take. I mean, that's not bad. Um, it is absolutely worth it. The only question is, 
I mean, tech tree progression wise, is it productive? I mean, next year we'll have basically our pick of any tier one or tier zero tech. Mm -hmm. Including geo harvesting, which I would say is rarely not good here when we have the other usages for all of the XS planets. Ooh, I also kind of want to try and get like extra science this year, but they're so expensive. It's 38. We don't even have the money to be able to connect these two yet. You could do one and then pop a, a suboptimal roid and then. Uh... And then return to it. Yeah. They just have to be so suboptimal that it that like it, it almost breaks my heart. But it would be extra two science, and that would be that's a pretty. It, I, it I would, feel like that's enough to justify it, to be honest. Hmm. No, but it depends no, no, what no, no, you want no, to no. do for the it, rest of the year, right? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it is. Here's my uh, here's my uh, pitch for why it isn't. Um, it accomplishes two science for the cost of three months and a huge amount of money. And then what do we do with the rest of the year? We Indeed. almost certainly have the ability to search once. I think, I think we need instead, to decide on science. Like, we need to decide what science we want to take. What science we want to take? Because if we're going to take Brain Machine Interface, that's going to... Sure. That's true. That's going to round out our inter... That's going to round out our year. I'm not entirely against going for Quantum Sensors. Ditto, actually. Let's do it. <laughs> we, we both want it. Daft, but not do it at that point. We also still Very have good. next year access to geothermals as soon as we could possibly want. We could also spike hard to integrated manufacturing if we prefer at the time, or even get the ability for the uh, energy to increase the production of the planets we give them to. I like that. I like that a lot. I like everything here, actually. Mm -hmm. Good. We honestly okay. live in a galaxy of maybe the best trajectory we've ever left the first episode of a campaign in? Like, I, I'm, we're just ready for this to continue pogging off until we start collecting all the Pogarinos we need. <laughs> I forgot we called them Pogarinos. What a stupid mm. idea. <laughs> uh, take it up with the person who did for the moment. <laughs> My name's in Rhapsody. His name's in Orbital. We'll catch you in the next slip ways as we continue expanding upon this glorious empire.